trader soon after receiving uh, signals from dual impulse uh, you have to do this let me start with the buy signal that I am receiving from this pair okay this is my buy signal so as soon as I receive this signal I have to count I have to count one two three four I have to count five candles back from the signal candle and those candles are the source of everything that I need to start trading so my signal candle is the one pointed by the arrow candle number one and my entry will start from its close to its low range and this is the range of my orders this is my orders this doesn't mean that uh, I stop loss below candle number one my stop loss will then go just below candle number five don't put exactly at the low of candle five but you can go just below candle number five this will give an allowance for other things like manipulation market might just retest candle number five and our candle number five is our impulse source candle that's you know so this is my entry range here the board of candle number one and you can see the market made this amazing movement where it uh, moved up a little bit and retraced and retraced and you can see it regained its impulse from the low of that candle number one signal going up normally our risky let me explain how our risky will work so your risky measures from your risky measures from the close of candle one going down to the lowest stop loss you use you plug your stop loss below candle number five that's your risk and your reward ranges from this close going all the way up and i told you we use one s to one we use one s to one if the trend if you are trending in the direction of the market then you can hold for a swing but i recommend you just take one s to one and also other sources they will tell you to take one as to two so in this strategy and dual impulse I recommend one as to one you don't have to go far beyond that if you go beyond far that it's your advantage but you'll be doing it at your own risk and sometimes it doesn't guarantee that one is to one will always work sometimes the market will move and invalidate your trade before the TP is reached but from my test uh, of the system it has proved that uh, it will give a positive result when you are taking one is to one normally in many cases it doesn't invalidate so thank you this is how our buy signal works and you can see arrangement here candle number one and candle number five that's the unique arrangement and uh, in a moment I will explain to you uh, and uh, another setup which happened before the sell setup uh, there is something unique about it which is different from uh, the buy setup and it the setup in sell it, it also appears in in the buy signals and I wanna teach you how you handle such a setup so how we erase everything I will erase everything and show you everything about the cell.
So our signal here, I use the white for my arrow because I didn't want color conflict with the red uh, cell signal, cell candles. Now let's count. So this is my one. This is my two, this is my three, this is my four, this is my five. So the unique setup here is candle number five and candle number one, the signal. You realize that there is something that is different in their arrangement as compared to the buy setup in this scenario candle number five our source candle is below candle number one and you can see it's below candle number two so as reference we are using candle number two and candle candle number five candle number two is our second impulse and it is higher than the first impulse candle number five. So in order to risk manage, you are no longer using five as your risky candle or as your stop loss parameter. You are now referring to candle two for your stop loss. So that's just the difference with the buy setup. In, in this scenario where an arrangement is like this our second candle which is our second impulse source is higher than this one it becomes our reference point in this scenario if our candle to this one for buy was higher than was lower than candle 5 we were going to use our candle 2 as our stop loss parameter but in this case our candle 5 our source of first impulse is below so we use it in this scenario that's a different case i hope you are understanding the logic Those, that, that's the logic i wanted to to just explain in this case so i'll clear everything and just present how the trade was going to work for itself So for a sell signal, I draw my signal is coming from this candle number one. That's where my entry starts to the highest level. So my entry range for a sell was this one. And my risky range, let me measure was gonna stretch from this open sorry this close to the high yeah of candle number two so your stop loss as i said give it an allowance just above that give it an allowance and i was gonna enjoy one as to one i told you one as to one let me measure my gain, my reward. This is my reward cap. It has to be in range. I believe the price reached you for it. This is my reward cap. Sorry, my pen is misbehaving. So, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, we reach here. We TP. So you can see this strategy works, whether it's a retracement, whether we are trending, it works. But I recommend you take trades trending. Also, for those advanced in analyzing the charts, I recommend you do your analysis. Always take dual impulse signals from the range of higher time frame support and resistance. And when, if it's a trend breakout, you wait for retracements. And when you see the signal after the treatments, then it 
you take your trade. You can use it uh, alongside your complex strategies. Thank you uh, for watching this video. I hope you have you got uh, detailed information on how you use our signal and uh, the dual impulse indicator. Go ahead and purchase your piece. Uh, you have a moment of trying. Uh, uh, MT5 markets, they give you the demo version. If you like it, go ahead and purchase. Uh, it comes with an unlimited use, which means it's a lifetime resource. Once you buy it, you can use it for a lifetime. So I hope uh, you enjoy uh, this amazing tool. We are improving it time after time so that it features some things which makes it uh, user friendly and also to filter some fake signals. Please subscribe and like and comment to our channel.